Hey, I'm Drew Broadley, uh, Director of Data Ventures. One of the big questions we've had is, what is Data Ventures doing day to day? And what I wanted to explain today was effectively our pipeline, how ventures come in, what we do with them, and how do they end or uh, exit the uh, Data Ventures. So what I'm gonna do is draw a picture. It's always easy to explain as I'm drawing. And I'll go through each of the different parts. Some of these things you've probably seen before. If you haven't, it's something new. If you have, it's probably something you'll be familiar with. Um, and we'll kind of have three different areas and from those three areas it kind of explains the parts and what we're doing inside those. So first of all, we have our what we call field zero. Now field zero is those early opportunities. It's the ideas you, me and everyone else has. Uh, things that aren't really researched, they're just things that pop up in the middle of the, uh, middle of the night, you write down. The things that come from outside, people are interested in working with us. And what we do is we bring them in and effectively write up a nice little post-it note board of all the opportunities. And these come in and frequently they come in a lot and so there's a lot of work to do in those but we're trying to make it that every opportunity comes in and everything's an opportunity. So what we'll do is with each of those, we'll take them through effectively our first gate. So our first gate is looking at it, is there any conflicts of interest? Is there anything that uh, is already currently going on in stats? Uh, those kinds of things, we run it past our advisory boards, um, get a feel for is this something we should or shouldn't be doing, bit of a sanity check basically. And then from that we pass through and we bring it into what we call our field zero, our f field one, sorry. Field one is the part where we do a lean canvas. So a lean canvas is essentially a one page business case. So in that there's a few sections, it highlights things like what is the problem, so what are we trying to solve, what's the solution, now all of these are assumptions and we're just testing those on what we think. Um, effectively it'll run out things like who's our customer, so who's the target audience for this, um, who we uh, go through to get those, so there are channels, um, what's our proposition, so what makes us unique and valuable, so you might know as unique value proposition, um, and then from there there's other things like revenue streams and costs, so they come through and how much is going to cost and then how are we going to make our money. So it's one of those sort of balances around the commercial part of what we've got. Now everything's not a commercial uh, venture. A lot of these we've found are commercial with a non-commercial side, which is kind of cool, which means that we're doing a social good aspect to some of them, and we're also making revenue to uh, help uh, build and sustain them. And so from there, what we do is we spend about two weeks, two weeks on those, going around, chatting, talking to people. Ideally, we've got three people have given us feedback. Now these people could either be customers, they could be uh, potential partners, and so one of the big things we've got with each of our ventures are each of them are a joint venture, and so we're ideally trying to highlight who is a potential partner, who is a potential customer, and then additional something else. And that's just a little bit of validation on top. So while this is all just guessing and just our thoughts, these people are telling us if it's real. Now what we do is we get all these ventures that we've got currently in the pipeline, so the ones that have come through from here and sitting in field one, we put them through here, do this, bring them together, and effectively the team comes together and does a bit of a, their own due diligence of you know, what's the effort, and we've got some scoring in this which might say it's a lot of effort, a lot of complexity, a lot of risk, or well, one of those kinds of things then test what's the value behind that. So we've got to balance all that out. And we'll take all those into consideration, bring them through, and effectively test what we believe is a current viability in terms of, yep, everyone's saying it's good, but we go, actually in the market right now, there's a whole bunch of competitors, and do we really want to go into the market with that? Or no one else is in there, that's pretty good. It could be a quick win. It could also be that the market's not ready right now, and we're going to figure out if we build this in two years' time, will the market be ready? So this is the due diligence that gets done by investors you typically hear of, um, what things you want to commit to, um, ideally what founders or other people building their own businesses go through to see if there's viability. It's really tricky and you can't always get it right. And so that's why we have a lot of ventures, so that if one doesn't get it right, then there's hopefully the others that do. And so once it's gone through this gate, this next gate, gate one, it brings it into field two. So field two is what you call an MVP, minimum valuable viable product or valuable product, um, or a proof of concept essentially the thing to test our assumptions. So we bring this together, there's a bit of money um, potentially to be put into that, there's some people to bring in, so those partners we're talking about, there's people from stats that we want to bring in so they can get involved and have experience, and then that will take 
So while that took two weeks for the, the field one of the lean canvas, this is going to take anywhere from, could be four weeks all the, th all the way through to 12. So it takes a while because it takes a while to test. And really what we're doing is, is there a, can we technically do it? Can we connect all the data sets? Can we find the product? Can it do what it needs to do? Then we also want to see how big it is. So is it going to be something big, something small? And that pretty much tests our assumption of how much it's going to cost to build this thing. From there we do wireframes. So the typical thing you might see is a, a thing you can click through and test. And then there's the business model, which is validating can we or can't we make that money and how we make that money. So bringing those things together, it does take a bit of time and might even take longer. You know, if it's something big and hefty and we scored it as, say, high complexity, we might want to take 18 weeks, for example. And so once we've got that and we're all pretty happy, the biggest part we're identifying is a paying customer. So someone that is willing to buy this product, someone that's willing to put money into it. And then that's the big validation for us, for the commercial ones. For non-commercial, it's about the value back to the community, back, back to New Zealand. And that's another thing we can test that isn't always about money. Sometimes it's the intangible of just doing that thing. Um, it could be, for example, an experimental classification. Uh, we see that classifications sometimes don't fit what everyone wants them to. They always adjust in shape. It could be just taking that and doing something completely radical. And from field two, there is obviously gate two. And this is where the board comes in. This is where the bigger investment comes in. This is where we build the thing that we've been testing. And so we look at a, a few things like, again, timing. We just keep on testing these things around timing. We're getting a feel for, uh, have we got a partner? Um, how much is that customer willing to commit for? Is it for 12 months? Well, that's great. That's 12 months of revenue. Is it for a just one-off cost? Well, that's risky as well. There's a whole bunch of things here. And this is what in the commercial world is called seed funding. So we bring it through into the next step of seed funding, and that's enough to build for the next two years. So we're looking for two years to build that thing and bring that team that we brought all the way through and effectively build a product. So we have a product to market. That's the whole point is we've got people using it, which is pretty exciting to have someone use something you've built. But that thing is effectively us making sure that it's right, the board gets involved, there's a lot more money involved, and then this is a commitment where we go out to the product, uh, product into the market, and it becomes effectively like its own business, its own product. And so that's what we're aiming for. And our goals over the next 12 months is to bring as many of these early opportunities through as possible from people inside of Stats. There are other sources, other channels. From there, it's getting, making sure they all get a lean canvas, and sometimes it's just helping maybe a Stats pro, uh, product that's potential for Stats, and we can just help validate it. Then we take it through, we want to get 10 of these proof of concepts done in the next 12 months, and then ideally at least one making it to the product in the market. And that's a big, hefty, audacious thing. It's a lot of change inside of stats, which is what Data Ventures is about. It's about bringing people from stats projects that they're currently committed in and into these things, so it's a resourcing problem. There's budgeting, obviously, there's the investment, and so it's a, it's a huge thing to partake. But the exciting thing is the ventures that we've got coming through, and so we'll, we'll have a blog post about those. And those don't stop there. We will keep this early pipeline going, we'll keep it coming through, and we'll keep testing, and that's our big thing.